in the early 70s, uh, when my father returned back from Vietnam, we were still living in Goulburn, in a nice country town. It's all basically I knew, and everybody knew each other. When Dad returned from Vietnam, it was a bit of a different story. We had to move into the city, and the city was very big and it was exciting, but it was very daunting. So just like a lot of other families who had family members in the services, we moved and we moved around a little bit. And it was really interesting from a, a kid, a country boy, who was uh, used to being around people that virtually he's grown up with, to be integrated into a number of people, a number of uh, different lives, was exciting but very daunting. And the, the care factor that my uh, mother and father gave to me, knowing that I was a country boy, was just outstanding. Basically, they just kept an eye on me, kept making sure that I was okay going through the integration part. And more importantly, it was all about staying to the family traditions. Because when Dad actually returned from Vietnam, I didn't quite recognize him. He was a bit of a different person. And that was a bit scary for me. And I know that he had been a bit different because he's some of his, you know, shall we say, everyday things that I knew him about actually changed. You know, there was days that he wouldn't sleep. There was days he wouldn't talk. And there was days that just things just didn't happen. And we knew that he was going through some hard times and we stuck together as a family. Mum made sure that pretty much I didn't see a lot of it. But more importantly, she made sure that we're always together in everything we did because that was the family values that was instilled in all of us from the day go.